Good evening, I'm Angela Hill. And I'm Dennis Walter. A new fallout tonight for a convenience store that placed a boot on a working ambulance while EMTs were inside trying to save a man's life. It's a story we exclusively reported on Friday that has now gone viral. Katie Moore has been digging into the situation and joins us live near the store. And Katie, you say the man who booted the ambulance was in a convenience store employee? Apparently he was. Now police cited him this morning for simple criminal damage to property for the situation with the ambulance, but owners of the convenience store say parking continues to be a problem at their store and they continued to boot people outside of the convenience store this morning. Workers at Quickie's convenience store at Tulane and Broad say the employee who booted a working ambulance on Friday has been fired. The guy that did this, he came from another country. He didn't even know what the hell, the, what an ambulance looked like. He's been fired. He said the owners are sorry it happened. However, other workers continued booting cars in their lot. We just have rules and regulations that we have to follow by. There are signs out here. For our regular customers. Those rules and regulations are self imposed. It's private property. Signs say, quote, if you leave the property, your vehicle will be booted. Here's the van, actually, that I was in that day. There's a boot. Akeisha Allen is a private investigator and in September stopped to get a drink at Quickie's. Before getting out, she climbed to the back of the van to secure her equipment when it started shaking. So I said, What are you doing? I said, I'm not illegally poor. He goes, Yes, you are. You didn't pay the fee. I said, Pay the fee and never got out of the van to pay a fee. They gave her this sheet and told her she owed them $120 to remove the boot. We had to come out there with cash. Yes, they wouldn't take a check. The sheet says it was booted by a company called Bootman, but they're a subsidiary of Premier Parking Enforcement in Atlanta. And the owner says Quickie's booting operation is not and never has been affiliated with them. It doesn't pass the sniff test, does it? Now, Quickie's parking lot, again, is private property, and the city code says they are allowed to boot, but they are required to be licensed with the city. And you're looking at one of the many signs that are posted in Quickie's parking lot. It says that it'll cost you $115 to get the boot off of your car. Now, the city code says they're only supposed to be charging $90. The city and the mayor's administration didn't get back to us for comment or for information on whether or not Quickie's is, in fact, registered and licensed with the city in time for this report. We're Reporting live from Tulane and Broad, Katie Moore, Eyewitness News. All right, Katie, thanks. For more on the story, you can go to our website, WWLTV.com. You can also view a slideshow of pictures at the scene right after the incident happened on Friday.